Hey y'all, y'all know I'm production. All right, I think that's a good enough angle. First and foremost, let's get into this belly and, and how it is, whoo, about to fall, and how it is definitely shrinking. I'll go to the side, y'all. It used to be like a, like I was pregnant, but it is definitely shrinking. I'm pretty excited about this detox tea. Everything is falling off of me. Y'all know my little waist, I will have you. Trying to get rid of these back rolls. I ain't gonna show y'all that, but get into this, okay? Get into this greatness. I'm excited. I don't know about y'all, but I'm excited. Uh, what's up, y'all? uh where's my camera oh there it is definitely is i changed it around because i felt like i was looking too much on this side and so let me let me look on this side but welcome to come eat with aggie i am in my bedroom today um one because my goddaughter is here with me from ohio love that she is here i love just love her i'll kind of briefly describe she um she was like my child before I had children. I became her godmother at the age of 17 years old. And so when I, when her mom made me her godmother, um, I immediately went out and got a job working at a hotel. I was like the, uh, <laughs> I was like a housekeeper at this motel, not hotel, motel. And I was working to be able to provide for her because I wanted to like buy her clothes and shoes and like dress her up real cute. I thought she's my baby doll. She's so super gorgeous. Um, and so, yeah, she's here. She just moved back from Ohio. She's been in Ohio the majority of her life. She moved back to Atlanta, transitioning, and I'm just so excited for her to be here. But she's also working on a YouTube channel. I'm gonna share it once she has it up. Um, it's pretty cool. Her and I are like the same. If y'all seen that meme the other day, I think I posted it. It said, women are real weird. They will um, listen to uh, murder documentaries, tuck themselves in bed and go to sleep. That's me, that's me. And so that's her. Um, and so she's doing a YouTube channel on um, different type of unsolved cases and mysteries and stuff like that. I think it's pretty cool. But she's downstairs uh, working on that. And so I was like, let me just go upstairs. My office is up here. I work up here too as well um, until I get ready to transition back to an office space. I'm not ready to go back to an office space, but um, I ain't going back I ain't going back to nobody's job. My own office space, but you know. This is where we are. Today I made a breakfast bowl. It ain't nothing but grits, eggs, potatoes, and veggie sausage. I can eat breakfast all day, every day. Let me show you, y'all. Get into it. Hopefully I don't waste it. But get into it. It looks amazing. It tastes so good. Um, that's veggie sausage with onions, tomatoes, and spinach. Potatoes, grits at the bottom, and then eggs. I ain't gonna eat all of it because this detox tea has been suppressing my appetite. And I'm gonna share something with you right now. I have become an affiliate of Salty Super Shots. I hope y'all can see that. Y'all know I don't know about it on YouTube. How y'all be doing? How y'all be doing, brother? That's how you do it? Okay, whatever. Um, but I'm going to plop my code here. You can go online and um, get 20% off by using my code. These have helped me. Let me tell y'all about me. Tell y'all about a little bit of agony. So I am a sweets person. Like I used to be able to eat sweets um, every day, all day. I think I told you this about plenty of times in the videos and stuff of that nature. But sugar was my Achilles heel. Child, you can feed me. I know y'all probably seen the memes and the videos like with your fat self. I always talk about some. You need some sweet after you ate a full 10 course meal. That used to be me. Um, or I would just eat cake and cookies all day and not eat anything. So one, that's not good for me, of course. I am an African-American woman, uh, 37 years old. So definitely I'm taking my health a little. I'm always taking my health seriously. I hadn't been like crazy if y'all watch my first video about talking about my 600 pound life i still watch that right now with this food when i was making it all i heard was the comedian in the background like, y'all need all that and so for me i'm just like you know very cautious about what i eat i am a pescatarian vegetarian for the most part um i try not to eat fish every day fish or seafood not really good for you but um when i don't eat seafood i am eating vegetables so as you can tell, everything here is vegetarian, um, not vegan. I hadn't found a good replacement for 
eggs yet. And my mama got 10 chickens, so my eggs is fresh. Like, I know where these eggs come from, okay? And I know what she feeding them, what, what they're eating, and all that stuff. So, you know, I got it good over here in the neighborhood. But these shots have been helping me um, today. I definitely need it because pollen season, spring has sprung. I have a beautiful cherry blossom tree outside of my house. It's like the tree that sits in my front yard. I've always wanted one of those trees. Have y'all like watched the movies and it's like this big tree in front of someone's yard? I've always wanted one of those. So my house actually has one. I'm so excited. But, you know, as the tree gets bigger and older and stuff like that, I just admit, imagine or envisioning Carter like going out there and climbing the tree in the summertime and stuff like that. But it's blooming. With bloom comes what? Pollen. It's kicking my ass okay when i tell you and i know particular trees in particular areas that i cannot go in in georgia that's gonna flare up my sinuses and yesterday i was in cobb county i couldn't i, I sneezed it, it from from um where i was to my house is about a 25 minute ride I sneezed from the moment I got in the car to the moment I got to the house till I get to my um, flow nays. Um, and so then also in another area, particular area like Dunwoody, if you guys know where that is, it's like the perimeter area, about perimeter mall. Um, I was in the area a day and a half ago and my allergies was crazy. It's just like insane. Haven't been that bad here only because I just feel like um, this is a new community, uh, new development. And so all the damn trees almost gone but they have been planting trees and stuff like that in, in um the yards and stuff so i'm pretty um excited about it can't wait till they bloom and it goes away but until then i have to deal with it so what helps me to not deal with it is i do this remedy all the time um a teaspoon of honey and lime juice um or i take ginger shots um, things of that nature during this time period. So I'm so glad that these came out. I actually stumbled upon these at the grocery store and I was like, I wonder if they have like a program where you can, um, share and it's brand, it's a new company. I'm assuming it's not, it hasn't been, uh, out in a while, but at the end of the day, I kind of like these. They have been helping not only with my allergies, um, with the, you know, my sinus problems and things of that nature, but also with my sweet tooth because it has ginger in it takes it all the way away i've been taking these and i can tell you the difference and that's probably one reason why my stomach going down is the fact that i ain't been eating cake sugar pies and all that stuff it's because i take these every morning not to say that they may work for y'all because y'all i know how y'all do but at the end of the day um, i know what works for me and these work and it just prevents me from having to take like sinus medication or allergy medication that made me sleepy groggy and i can't do any work um i actually had to take some this morning so my eyes sitting low that's because of that um but i'm pretty excited they say sip it don't tug it it is not for the faint of heart if you like taste child it stings the back of you right there but I'm used to it now. Um, this one has zinc, vitamin D, vitamin C, raspberry, and kanai, kanine, queen, queenine, shit, I don't know. The crown super shot, okay? Um, living beverage. It has organic apple juice, organic lemon juice, organic ginger root juice. That's basically it. Um, so I basically kind of reading the back, it says crown has a trio of ingredients that have shown to be antiviral, hundred percent daily of zinc plus vitamin C and D and added Q word, which is, um, which also is zinc helps transport zinc across the lipid membrane of a cell to increase zinc, zinc absor absorption. I can read y'all zinc absorption crown because you deserve rural healthy. Um, so I'm going to drink this one before I eat my food and then I'm going to drink the blue Spirella one after it. Um, I don't, you know, I do two. I've, I've been doing two a day just only because two, I just came back from Mexico. I'm telling you about my trip there and how amazing that was. Um, and we still living in a panini. 
the rollers out there with different mutations. Um, this also helps too if you're like trying to cut back on like you your coffee intake. Now, I will tell you this too as well. People think it's weird, but if you look at any allergy medicine, it has caffeine in it. Period. So I that's why I try not to take and two with my thyroid, I can't take too much medicine. I have a particular uh, specific child get it together i'm trying to say particular and specific at the same time i have a particular type of medicine that i can take that won't will not interact with my thyroid medication so um it's allegra and i can only take that one um and i can do flow nays the nasal cavity thing and that's those are about the only two the other things kind of interact and can throw my levels off because of the pill right but um, I try to drink coffee too as well. So in like Benadryl, it has caffeine in it. But if you are, you know, trying to struggle, I will say for me, I'm gonna speak on my behalf. I can only speak, I can only tell you what I, I can only tell you what I can tell you. Um, taking these shots um, helps with, like I said, my sugar intake. So now I can drink like coffee with like one creamer in it. It alters them taste buds for real. But Hey, if it's going to alter the taste buds so I can have a flat stomach, I'm trying, like I said, I'm trying not to get no uh, tummy tuck right now because I want to have more kids. But, um, hey, baby, you know, do what you do. I'm about to be ripping and running in a few minutes. Got some work to finish up. Um, but how y'all been? I feel like it's been forever since I've been on here. Um, I went to Mexico. What's today? The 11th. So I went to Mexico on the 6th. I, mean, I know I was in Tulum. Um, somebody else. Sorry, it's getting her hair braided. So the girls come in here. Praise the Lord. So you know what? I was telling, I was, at, let me, I'm gonna go back to, I'm, I, I can talk about this right now. We, I was in Mexico, whatever, beautiful, oh my God, where I was, um, I'm gonna, I'll post a, plop a video here, a little short. All right, we're back. Um, and, like, Mexico is so gorgeous, y'all. If y'all ever have a chance, like, please don't live in fear and hear, let people talk y'all out of going places and stuff like that. But Mexico is gorgeous. And I'm not talking about, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, um, Cancun is nice, but when you kind of venture outside of Cancun, kind of go a little bit, you know, south of the tip, because you know Cancun is on the tip. Mexico is the little boot. Cancun is like right there at the top of the boot. If you go inland a little bit, so gorgeous. Um, so I was at Mael's conference, Monique um, conference. It was a work trip, things of that nature. Um, and i mean just the event in itself was bad and bougie it was over the top it was elegant it was just amazing and the powerhouses that were in the room um sometimes you know it's almost you know how people say you know walking into a room you can feel the presence and and everything like walking into this room you all you felt the presence of god of course um but also the powerhouses like the like just the bosses and seeing women doing what they doing and hearing their stories from where they started from and things of that nature to where they are now and you know the struggles that they may face and things of that nature so that it was very cool to see um and also too very cool to be able to like hang out with some of these people um that you may not be able to get a chance to ever do and they are just so amazing like everybody was amazing like I love all of them. Like we all sisters at this point. And it was just pretty cool to be able to, you, you didn't, you didn't go there to network. Cause that wasn't my purpose. I wasn't going there to network. I was actually going there to work, um, help my sister. But at the end of the day, um, just being able to sit at the, t you know, it's like the table was made. Like everybody comes sit at this table. You know, we made this table for us. Let's sit at this table. And so I just think, um, that it was pretty cool to just be around people. They like, dope dope ass people but i was sitting there talking to uh one one particular woman she's a, a boss in her field and things of that nature and we were talking about the the panini and the pandemic and how disgusting we were 
Like, y'all think back before the pandemic, how disgusting we were. We were some disgusting human beings, okay? You know what I'm saying? Like, when you sick, you need to wear a mask. Like, why is that so, why is that so hard for people to do? And I was telling her, I was like, could you imagine all the people that could have possibly been saved if we were wearing masks 15, 20 years ago when we were sick? Like, it was mandated that if you were sick, you had a fever, you need to stay at home, don't send your kids to school, don't come into work. And wear a mask, wash your hands, sanitize, wear like, even last night, I took my kids to the jumping spot. And like, why weren't we not sanitizing the, 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 the surfaces before? Like it wasn't no standard of cleaning. Like people would clean maybe like once, twice a month. Why, why was why haven't we been doing it? You know, I was like, we have been, we were just disgusting human beings. Bro, like we was discussing that and we were discussing our own spin. Discussing a lot. a lot of other things but I look back over my life and just see how far I've come and where I am going and I think about all the stuff that I've been through or going through or am going through now it serves a purpose it's literally there for a purpose you know um, I'm not the type of person that I promise y'all I sat at a table sat there and talked to these people for for hours and it wasn't even when we sat down it wasn't even on a tip of what do you do it literally was a sitting down and like fellowshipping and talking to one another and then when it, by the time the conversation was up, it was like oh well what do you do you know <laughs> and I tell them and they were like wow you know so, you know, just just appreciating that there is a process in all of this and being thankful for everything that I've been through. It's true. It, it was truly mind blowing to see this weekend. I had a blast. Um, I encourage that anybody that wants to travel. Do it. Don't don't let nobody. Psych you out of going somewhere. The going places. Um, I get all the time. Well, you know, you know, it's dangerous. And what about COVID? And what about the pandemic? That COVID, I done said this time, time, ten. It ain't going nowhere. It's just like the flu. It ain't going nowhere. We can forget it disappearing or magically disappear like y'all past president said or whatever. It just ain't going nowhere, y'all. And we got to learn how to live with it. And for me, I have I have to travel. And I'm not going to let anything stop me. Of course, take precautions and things of that nature. You know, a lot of people say, you're going to get the... I'm not trying to get my video taken down. But, you know, they kind of flag you when you start talking about this stuff. That's why I give extra words. But are you going to get the... You know what I'm saying? And I'm just like, I am possibly am. And it's not because of, I don't believe in those things. Because I do think that our... Um, you know, not good for the body, not good for kids and things of that nature. Uh, I forgot. Um, my two, my two oldest are to a certain point. The youngest one is not. Um, so I think that it's important to, to get or to have. Everybody just keep calling me every time. My phone has been dry all morning. All morning. As soon as I start recording, everybody want to call. Or text. And it is 12.42. I guess they were trying to give me enough time. I've been up since 6. So, whatever. But, for me, I think that the importance of possibly getting it, and this is not, this, I, I didn't mean for this to go anywhere, but the, it goes back to the traveling piece. Um, the point is again is just protect others. You know what I'm saying? Help slow the spread. I mean, you know, I don't want to take all them can, can, canary tests. And, you know, you don't have to have this particular test going into a country. Well, I mean, I would rather have it because this is what's going to happen. 
you don't take the test, and then you get there and you get sick in another country. Get sick if you want to. <laughs> you go to quarantine, uh, confine yourself there for at least seven to fourteen days. I don't know if your pocket's gonna be able to handle that, but why not? Why not go ahead and get one before leaving, regardless if the country requires it or not? That way you know you're good. And then be safe while you're there. And then take your test and come on back to the house. It just makes sense to me. And they're free. You don't have to pay for them. So if you're around here paying for um canary tests. They're jipping y'all out your money. If you got insurance or if you don't have insurance, they are free. So why not take it and travel? But I love Mexico. My, um, um, someone asked me this question, you know, do you pick a particular region when you travel? And I do. Um, I have a, my, a, a set mindset on where I want to go and travel. And right now it is Central America, South America. That's where I want to go in this season of my life. And so... Um, I think my next trip is to Belize. I think that's where I'm, I'm going next. Um, and then back to Tulum in May. I just, I just want to do it. I was, um, I had posted up on my Facebook page. Um, you know, a lot of people don't get to travel or do, or they may not know how, you know, it's, it, Taking a vacation can be a lot. If y'all plan vacations, y'all know. It just, it's a lot in itself. And then going on a vacation is a lot. And sometimes when you go on vacation, you come back home, you need a vacation from your vacation because you've done so much, right? And a lot of people just be like, F it, I ain't going, right? Well, you know, my one of my good friends, I talked about her in the last one video. Um, she has a travel company. Um, and her audience base is a particular audience base, but... I told her if I partner up with her to introduce her company to my audience base, let's set it up. And so I am working on putting together um, a small retreat. And ain't gonna be big, you know, ain't gonna be for a lot of folks, but where we eat, we have a good time, we explore a new country, and not like like the touristy things, like we actually get out and go with the people. You know what I'm saying? We explore the country, you learn something about the culture, and then you just have a relaxing time. It could be a four, four, four day, three night type of thing. Something that's very fast paced, but not excruciate, excruciate. I can't say it. I can talk. Why can I not talk this today? I hadn't, I hadn't drunk anything. I ain't drunk no, no wine or nothing. What is going on? But the, uh, jeez. But the uh, trip won't be as exhausting as um it will be you know but i'm putting it together y'all stay tuned follow me on my personal instagram page right here um and i'll post it on come you with a but yeah um i i, I just love i just love to do i just love to have i was gonna talk about something today i forgot what it was that quick y'all know i get the rambling and stuff like that i hope y'all be enjoying these if not, oh well, I'm gonna still do it. It these videos allow me to first one cook because cooking is my passion. But two kind of invite you in to see who I am. My friends get this. You know? That's what it was. I um You know, in the past, and I'm, I'm pretty sure a lot of people will go, I've I been told you that, but um, I have I have just, you know, it's not that I didn't know or the knowledge that I didn't know, but it's almost as if, and we all do this, don't act like you ain't never did it, but you always pretend or act like um, a particular certain way to meet the demands of the people that you're around or with, right? And so, you, you can tend to kind of lose yourself. I know for me, I lost myself heavily um, when I was married. And it wasn't because of um, 
anything as far as whatever happens in marriages, you go through hard times. The marriage is hard, period, point blank. But I, I particularly lost who I was because my identity, my identity became came from being a individual to a person that was a wife and then a mother. And so that was my identity. And there's nothing wrong with that. I'm not saying anything is wrong with that. But I never found the time or the place for Agatha. And so it was very hard when I separated from um, my ex trying to figure out what I liked, what I did, what I didn't like, things of that nature. And so I started dating myself, taking myself out, doing these all these other things. Um, but I wanted to, what made me prompt to do Come Kiki with Aggie is because a lot of the people, what, what you saw, that Instagram reel, y'all out here thinking everything is perfect because somebody told me that on your pictures it looks like everything is perfect. And I ain't going to sit here and lie. My life is good. Okay, I have joy. I have peace. I have bad days. Yesterday, I was not having a good day. Today, I'm having a great day. I feel great. But my life is good. I don't have any complaints at all. I um, I have my house. I have I, I, As much as I hate my car, I'm thankful for my car. You know, my kids are healthy. They have roof over their head, the lights on, the water working. All this stuff, um, I am definitely in a great place. Don't get me wrong. My pictures, if I post my pictures and I'm laughing and I'm smiling and I'm looking, it's not for show. Literally, that's where I am. And y'all have been following me and stuff like that. And y'all see, I'll hop on and be like, I'm not having a good day. I'm just not going to do the little highlight reel for y'all. But in, in a sense, sometimes we can get wrapped up into who we want to be when we're not authentically ourselves and so that's why come kiki with aggie came about is one that's what come eat come eat with aggie about it was literally fellowshipping my vision of my whole brand was sitting at a table and everybody from different likes and 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 cultures and areas around the world come sit down and we all have a common thing together is we all like to eat you know what i'm saying and we kiki and we fellowship we laugh we talk we cry we do whatever and this is what i do i love hosting my friends um i love cooking when i ain't tired i love you know just doing all of that so that's where come come eat what aggie came from and then the kiki part is i feel like i'm i'm hilarious i think i'm funny i think i'm funny i be laughing at myself do y'all be laughing at yourself when y'all be making jokes i be cracking myself up um my family we joke we joke each other all the time um sometimes my kids especially cam when i tell you he because he's so quiet and he's so gentle and he's just so meek and his mannerisms are just so somebody it ain't funny but uh one of my friend's son, he could he could tell you what your spirit animal is. And so he told me mine's I forgot what mine was. An ant. Mine's was an ant. And if you define I'm gonna put it here. I'm put I'm gonna put what the ant definition of a spirit animal is, and that literally is me. But he gave everybody uh Soraya was a cat, Carter was a, a zebra, <laughs> and Cam was a sloth. And it wasn't because the sloth was like slow, but naturally. Cam just moved by the own being his drum. Here come one of them now. But we joan each other, we joke each other, and it'd be so funny. So you just gonna walk right in front of the camera. You you're just going to walk right. What is I this? am recording. What is this? Those are those are shots. You wanna taste some? The blue one's stuck. You wanna try it? Are you sure? Tierra be here in a minute. He's fine. He's fine. Y'all don't have to y'all don't have to always pause. They know I got to taste that. Y'all ain't finna be um messing over my shots. Hey y'all. Sorry about to get oh. hair braided. That's hey y'all. Oh, I was I was I was going while we're going with the the canary about um about how you know nasty we've been, but it also opened up for people to come to your house and do stuff like you ain't got to go out the house. Um and the girl shout out to Tierra uh, Royal Styles. Um, she's coming to the house to braid so right here. That mean I ain't gotta go sit in no shop. Um, and then the other day, my the guy that does mobile detailing for the car came out and washed my car. I ain't got to go sit at no car wash. I hate sitting at the car wash. 
But um, oh, she's are you finished with school? Yeah. Wait, a class? Yes, we gotta get Okay, have you turned in your work? They be saying yes, but then I be getting a little message. Mm -hmm. No, I have. They see me doing it. I have my camera on it, everything. Okay. Bye, guys. Bye. What class is it? Next. Yeah, I'm going to go to the fifth period. Fifth period. <laughs> oh, well, you probably have to take it down. She ain't pulled up yet, but she said she'd be on her way. She's on her way. You coming, car? No, he about to taste this in front of this camera. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't finna be wasting my stuff now. <laughs> I'm gonna start giving it to y'all. Just chug it. Just shot, shot, shot. <laughs> okay. He ain't tasted it yet. Boy, just drink it. I wanna try it. It's good. It's good, but drink the rest of it. Okay. They be lying, talking about this good. See, it's kid friendly, cause this one right here. Oh, he don't even eat meat. Yes, he does. Okay. He kinda eat meat. He don't eat what meat do we eat? He eat Chick-fil-A meat. He, he just eat Chick-fil-A nuggets. And he barely eat them. He only eat like two. Chick fil it's so good. <laughs> you should see her face. Ooh, it's sour. Yeah, it's got ginger in it. it tastes like lemon. Yes, Woo! good. Woo! 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 Yes! Mangles. Boy. Mangles. I eat your oats. I dance it. Mwah. Move back to this. Sorry, mommy. <laughs> Class act, y'all. It's like, li it be live over here all the time. All the time. <laughs> I just had to take a moment because they are hilarious, especially that Lotus one. Um, I think he probably gets his uh, silliness from, I think, I, I mean, me and my family, we all be joking. My dad is a jokester when I tell you. He be saying slick stuff and you be like cracking up, but he's very, he like Cam, so he's very quiet. Um, but when he get to know you and get to talking to you, like legit, you be your side be cracking. But also, they daddy silly too, so I don't know. I'm not going to, you know, downplay it. I'll never tell my kids, you know, can't do this, don't do this, you know, unless unless it's just something being disrespectful. But I kind of let them be free and stuff. And I think Carter's going to be that class clown, and the teacher's gonna be calling me talking about Carter cutting up in class today. Um, and I'm gonna be like, well, you know, there's Kevin Hart. Okay, you gotta look at it. You gotta look at it like that. Like, our, well, this Kev on stage. I teach him not be disruptive, but we ain't finna dim his light and dim his gift. But he is hilarious. Y'all saw how he just come in here and just walked in front of production. The whole camera stood up and stayed stood there. If y'all watched the last video, y'all seen how loud he was. Every day, all day. Okay. He don't give not like, none of it. By none of it. Um. But I um going back to people coming to you know it. Going back to the panini, basically, you know, people just have been launching business ideas, uh, things that they just weren't able to do because they, you know, were just too tied down. At the event in Mexico, I forgot who said that. One of the panelists said it, it was at a panel and one of the panelists said it and basically like, you know, we had become so busy in our own. It's kind of like God was like, all right, I'm gonna sit y'all down. You know, have y'all ever had seasons in your life where God just be like, I'm gonna need you to sit down? And you be wondering like, why am I going through this storm? Why is it a dry season? It literally is time for us to sit and think and hear his voice and listen to what he has to say. And, you know, maybe he not the Old Testament God. Thank God. Thank you, Lord, that you not the Old Testament. 
version and you the New Testament version, you sent Jesus down here to die for our sins and, you know, take this all away. I just think that he was like, all right, y'all pressure my, y'all pressing my patience at this point and boom, we all had to sit down. But in that moment, the majority of us, you know, we needed to sit down because we needed to refocus and we needed to gain our ourselves back. We were too busy with so many things and too and worried about so much that we had to literally sit down and take care of us, take care of our mental health. And oh, if the only thing that you did was to survive for the next day, that is that is that is the greatest thing that you did. God knew that you needed that. Um, but then some people launched businesses. Some people, you know, became creatives and did all the things that they needed to do. So I'm thankful because it has literally birthed. You know, I remember, and if y'all follow me, if y'all pull up a old video, I'm going to try to find it because I think it may be on this channel, but it was when I was living in Kuwait. It was five years ago. And America, wait, because I was in Kuwait, Carter Spied, it was eight years ago because we lived in Kuwait two and a half years prior to me getting pregnant with Carter eight years ago um yeah that'd have been right because soraya would have been in first grade she's 11 now no i can't do math hold on let me get it right uh we left when carter was nine months he's five now six seven yeah about eight years ago that's right i'm tripping um Seven years ago. I'm, I'm counting, y'all. I'm trying to count because Soraya would have been, she would have been four. She was in kindergarten when we left. Anyways, the point is, see how my, my mind, I can't, I got to get it right. I'm trying to, I was trying to calculate in my head, like, what, how many damn years ago was I in Kuwait. But um, I remember, if y'all go back on a video, I remember talking about on the video how there was a delivery service. It was called Talibot, and it delivered food to the house. And it was just so amazing. Like it never, like America didn't know anything about that. But in in um, Kuwait, they had that, and in Dubai, they had it. Like they would deliver ice cream to your front door. And I was like, I hope that you know America kind of adopts this and um, things of that nature. And then sure enough, by the time Carter was born, Uber Eats had came out, and then DoorDash, and then Postmates. And so I literally was living in it well before it hit America when I was overseas. And so two. Also, when I was living overseas, like everything came to you, like you didn't have to leave. And it was particularly the reason being is because it was a full, it's a Muslim country. And so um, Ramadan, I, I, we always was there when Ramadan was happening. Ramadan is almost like two, three months. And so they would fast during the day and mean nothing was open until after uh, dusk um, and before dawn. And so then a lot of things were delivered to your home. Like if you need groceries and things of that nature, it was all delivered to you because people just didn't go, it didn't go out. Um, and so now having that, that ability to have people come to your house and do stuff, it's amazing. I just think, I just think God, like he just shifted everything of where it needed to be. Has it made us a little bit lazier? Yeah, of course. I mean, who, but who want to get dressed? And get everybody dressed and go sit in a hair salon for four, five hours. I mean, I go get my hair done in my hair, my hairstylist's house. Um, but she only take like two hours to do my hair. But like, who won't do that if they can come to your house and do it? Maybe I got a nail technician that can come to the house. Uh, hair braider that can come to the house. Car wash person. The groceries can be delivered. The food can be delivered. I mean, if I didn't want to go nowhere, I wouldn't have to go because everything can come to me. Now, it's going to cost me some money. But hey, that's the... That's the price of being convenient um in a sense but that look like her but it look like she i don't know where she at where she going what they doing um anyways but yeah i ain't got nothing up for y'all i think my next one i'm gonna have a guest everybody booked and busy that's a good thing. But I think the next one I'm going to do, I, I'm, I have 
so i think i'm gonna do these in seasons i don't know if i'm gonna continue these uh it's continue on but i like doing it so i'm not gonna say yes or no but i truly like doing these um I am going to bring you guys along in the production of the new cookbook. The recipes are all complete. Um, just another phase of, of the book is still in process. And then, of course, the production of it. I've gotten a lot of ideas and tons of things um, to do. And I um, spoke to my team to try to get it, get it done and get it together. But let's working on it. What else is going down with Aggie? Um, nothing really working. Watching these kids. Um, so right back in school. Like like physical. But they have certain days that they go. So she didn't go today, of course. Um, but they have certain days that they go and then certain days that they're at home. It relieves me up just a little bit. I for one can't wait till all of them go. 2021 2022 school year season is gonna be yes because i just don't know where i'm gonna be in my life um still single thought i should mention that <laughs> i don't know why i thought i should mention that but hey if you know anybody that like women with kids let me know holler at me send them to me no, I'm just playing. I'm just playing, y'all. I'm definitely very content in my single life. Um, I'm having fun. It's, um, I was talking to my friends the other day, and it was just almost like, you know, you get to enjoy who you are and know who you are and know what you will and will not tolerate. So I'm very content. I've been married before. I can't speak it to those that hadn't been married because I know the desire is to be married, but I've been married before. And um, we had some good times, but we also had some bad times. And um, I just know that if I do it again, when I, when I do it again, I am going to do it again. I am going to get married. I'm speaking that, but um, it's going to be right. And, you know, everything. But that's all I got. I ain't got nothing else. I didn't play around in the stock market today. I just, you know, the market has been trash these past couple of weeks and so for me trying to not want to lose any money i have my long holes and that's where we are oh i got some uh money uh oh my gosh do y'all be signing up for the rewards and stuff y'all better sign up for the rewards I only stop at, my car only like mobile and Exxon gas. The, the y'all car is only like a particular type of gas. If I put racetrack or QT in my gas tank, child, Oh, that's nice. Speaking of. I'm just here. I'm vegan, vegetarian, food truck park thing tomorrow. I'll let y'all know how I go. I might vlog it. But do y'all be signing up for them little things, you little rewards? Y'all be getting that little money? I just want to make sure I understand the product. I need at least eight different juice labels to print for myself. The juice recipes. else i'm answering emails um
That's it. That's all I got. But I was looking at my email and I got some money back from um, some ca some little cash back mobile rewards. My car only like um, Exxon and uh, mobile. So I get little rewards. So like right now, because I, I shop at this particular gas station. Y'all better sign up. I don't know if QT or Racetrack got it or whatever your gas station is, but sign up, see if they... I know Shell has a reward system, but I'm not for sure if you have to have the credit card in order to get the rewards, but Exxon and Mobile don't. You just download the app. You don't have to have a credit card, and so every time you go, you can, um, like, it, you can pay for the pump before pulling up and all this other stuff. Um, you don't even have to put your card... You know how safety... To see, how, see how the Panini helped out the gas stations? You pull up to the pump, you pay for it from your, your phone. You don't even have to do nothing but touch the gas pump. Exxon has gloves outside. Well, the particular one I go to has gloves outside. You put the gloves on, put the thing on. But you don't have to press the button, put your card in, do any of that. I love it. But I have some points. And so right now, I think I'm up to $20 in rewards. So I pull up to the gas station. I can get a dollar off of my gas or $2 or $5, whichever I want to use. I know I, I don't use it um, because you never know. You never know when you're going to be in a bind. Nate, I'm in a bind and having to use it. I've, I've been in a situation well before where I couldn't afford gas. Okay? And so um, that comes in clutch because you could pull up and get five dollars off and put five dollars of gas in your car and it's free but i don't use my rewards i just now they want to have full conversation i said i will be there um but yeah that's it that's all i got for y'all Love y'all mean it. I hope this, I really truly hope these make sense when I be doing these. Do they be making sense? Because <laughs> sometimes I can wrap it all. Oh, no, look at my friend, my bestie. The perfect, see, I'm about to squirrel again. Um, The perfect thing that I like about my house, my place is I sit on the corner lot. So can't nobody pull up on me unless, unless. I'm in the bathroom, but in I, my my bathroom, I have bathroom windows, so I can still look out the window. But if I ain't home, like you can't pull up on me, can't pull up on me, cause I can see you. If I'm sitting here, and typically I sit in this chair sometimes and work on my laptop if I don't need to work on my desktop, and I can see who pull up. Can't pull up on me. It'd be so funny, but that look like my bestie. I like her car. She said about one o'clock. Anyways, I love y'all mean it. Make good choices. Be a leader. Don't be average. Be savage. Keep Christ first. Remember, you're beautiful. Ladies, fellas, y'all got this. Take y'all immunity shots. The pollen is out. And you don't want nobody to be thinking it's the Rona. Okay. And there's my religion. She's like, I'm gonna put everybody over here in this community. I seen her walking. I'm gonna go say, hey. And the marathon continues. All right, bye. Whew. My stomach probably huge now. It's gonna be lunch. Or dinner shit. It's already lunch. Y'all better get into these uh, vegan sausages. This is vegan. And gluten free. Feel roast.
It may have a little soy in it. I haven't looked at the full ingredients, but. Let me tell you how quick this meal was. Then I'm gonna get off of here. Y'all know I gotta have two benedictions. And I'm reaching my time limit because I said I was gonna keep these under 55 minutes. Bill roll sausages. Instant grits. Now, if you don't know how to cook grits, I know how to cook grits, okay? But you better get them little packages. What I do is I boil water, put it on the grits, then I put it in the microwave and let it cook just a little bit more because with the instant grits, when you put the hot water on them, they don't always cook through, even though they're supposed to, but they don't. And I season it with butter, uh, vegan butter, salt, pepper. Um, the eggs, of course, come from my mama. And then these potatoes are the frozen hash brown, the frozen skillet potatoes. Saute them in a skillet, put some white wine on top of them. My best. Oh, no, babe. Oh, he's cute. Oh, he's cute out there today, y'all. Is that, that is Jack A. Let me go say hey. <laughs>